Tell me who is the couple that caused the greatest chemistry of all time in Western television? You may have heard of Owen Wilson and Ben Stiller or Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn, but all of these connections pale in comparison to Tom Selleck and Sam Elliott. The two have created many great successes in Western roles when together, what a perfect pair. If the enduring camaraderie between Tom Selleck and Sam Elliott intrigues you, delve into this video to witness the essence of their timeless friendship. Let's embark on this journey. As the camera rolled on the set of Lancer's episode 14, titled Death Bait, in 1969, little did the audience know that they were witnessing the birth of a partnership that would transcend the confines of a single television episode and pave the way for a legendary collaboration in the Western genre. Tom Selleck and Sam Elliott, both relatively unknown at the time, were cast as minor characters named Dobie and Renslow, respectively, marking the beginning of a journey that would eventually define their careers. Tom Selleck, with his baby-faced appearance and a distinctively mustache-less look, stepped into the role of Dobie. The opening scenes of the episode showcased an almost unrecognizable Selleck, setting the stage for an encounter that would become the genesis of a lasting professional relationship. As fate would have it, Sam Elliott made his entrance later in the episode, his on-screen time even more limited than that of his newfound colleague, Tom. The plot unfolded with Selleck's character, Dobie, facing the misfortune of having his horse stolen. Although seemingly inconsequential in the grand narrative of the episode, this shared experience served as the foundation for a camaraderie that would extend beyond the scripted lines and staged scenes. Little did they know, this seemingly uneventful meeting would be the starting point of a partnership that would evolve into something unparalleled in the realm of Western entertainment. In the wake of their first on-screen collaboration, Selleck and Elliot navigated the challenging landscape of the entertainment industry, each carving out their respective paths. As the years passed, their careers took divergent routes, but the seed planted during their time on Lancer began to sprout and grow. Fast forward to the subsequent chapters of their careers, and the duo would find themselves crossing paths once again, this time in more substantial roles. The chemistry they had unwittingly developed during the filming of episode 14 blossomed into a profound connection, transcending the characters they once portrayed. This enduring professional relationship not only weathered the storms of the unpredictable entertainment industry, but also flourished into something that left an indelible mark on the Western genre. As the decades unfolded, Tom Selleck's career evolved into a rich tapestry of genres and entertainment mediums. From his early beginnings marked by diversity and nuance to his recent role in the police drama, Blue Bloods, Selleck's journey through the entertainment industry has been nothing short of remarkable. However, nestled within the expansive narrative of his career is a significant chapter characterized by an exclusive dedication to Western credits. In the midst of this Western-focused phase, Selleck found himself looking to his friend and fellow actor, Sam Elliott, as a guiding light. During this period, Selleck perceived Elliot as someone with a much clearer and more cohesive vision for both his life and the trajectory of his career. While Selleck freely admits that he was still in the process of learning the ropes, Elliot, his senior by just a year, seemed to possess a fully realized understanding of where his future might lead. Reflecting on the filming of the Lancer episode that brought them together, Selleck was 24 years old, and Elliot, at 25, was already casting a shadow of seasoned wisdom and foresight. Even in those early days, Selleck recognized that Elliot's vision for himself was markedly more focused and refined than his own. The clarity with which Elliot navigated the intricacies of the entertainment industry left a lasting impression on Selleck evident from the moment they first met on the set. 
As Selleck embarked on his Western-centric phase, he did so with the awareness that his friend, Sam Elliott, served as both an inspiration and a benchmark. While Selleck's career trajectory would eventually expand into other genres, the foundational influence of those Western credits and the early guidance from Elliott remained integral to his artistic journey. Tom Selleck's journey into the Western genre was not without its challenges, and a pivotal moment of truth emerged during his audition for a minor role on Lancer, in the world of Westerns, a crucial skill that recruiters often seek in new talent is the ability to ride a horse, a skill that Selleck, still a newcomer to the genre, did not possess at the time. Unlike some stars, such as John Schneider of the Dukes of Hazard, who famously fabricated their equestrian prowess to secure a role, Selleck opted for a different and more honest approach. Faced with the potential obstacle of lacking the requisite horse-riding experience, Selleck made a calculated decision to be forthright with director Bob Totten about his limitations in that department. Rather than attempting to deceive or exaggerate his abilities, Selleck chose transparency as his strategy. He recognized that honesty could be a refreshing departure from the norm, demonstrating a level of integrity that would set him apart. In doing so, he acknowledged his lack of experience in horseback riding, trusting that his sincerity would be appreciated. This decision not only showcased Selleck's honesty, but also reflected his commitment to authenticity in an industry that often demanded a certain level of bravado. It was a gamble that paid off as director Bob Totten appreciated Selleck's candor and saw potential in him beyond just equestrian skills. When confronted with the pivotal question about his equestrian abilities during the audition for the minor role on Lancer, Tom Selleck chose to confront the challenge head-on. Biting the bullet, so to speak, he admitted to director Bob Totten that horseback riding wasn't within his skill set. However, in the same breath, he expressed a lack of fear toward the majestic animals and emphasized his athleticism. Selleck went a step further, pledging his willingness to learn the art of horse riding if given the chance. The auditions, unfolding against the backdrop of the historic Randall Ranch, presented a unique challenge for the finalists. The litmus test involved each candidate mounting a horse and riding over to the grandstand. Selleck, despite his lack of equine experience, navigated the challenge with enough skill and composure to leave a positive impression on the casting team. His genuine acknowledgement of his shortcomings, coupled with his eagerness to acquire the necessary skills, set him apart. Securing the role on Lancer marked not only a triumph for Selleck in that particular moment, but ignited a spark that would go on to define his acting career for more than 50 years and counting. The willingness to embrace a challenge, coupled with the honesty he displayed during that crucial audition, became emblematic of Selleck's approach to his craft. In the landscape of westerns, the magic often lies not just in the individual prowess of the stars, but in the unique chemistry that a dynamic duo can bring to the screen. In 1982, the TV western The Shadow Riders emerged as a testament to this alchemy featuring two of the genre's greatest stars in a collaborative adventure. While iconic westerns like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid and Rio Bravo had demonstrated the power of a stellar ensemble, the Shadow Riders showcased the synergy between Sam Elliott and Tom Selleck, elevating the underrated series to a noteworthy status in western television history. Traditionally, westerns have proven that a single hero like Gary Cooper or Clint Eastwood, can carry a compelling narrative. However, the genre's richness often lies in the interplay of characters, and finding the perfect duo is a delicate task. The success of Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid hinged on the dynamic between Robert Redford and Paul Newman, while Rio Bravo became a classic through the combined efforts of John Wayne, Dean Martin, and Walter Brennan. The perfect pairing requires co-stars to complement each other's skills and bring forth different facets of their respective personalities, preventing redundancy in character portrayals. In the case of The Shadow Riders, Sam Elliott and Tom Selleck, 
both individually renowned for their contributions to the Western genre, found even greater effectiveness as a team. While each had left an indelible mark in solo ventures, their collaboration added a new layer of depth to the Western narrative. The series unfolded as a showcase of not just their individual talents, but the seamless interplay that made their on-screen partnership captivating. The Shadow Riders brought the spirit of Louis L'Amour's Western novel to life under the seasoned direction of Andrew V. McLaglen. L'Amour, known for his vast contributions to Western literature, had crafted a tale that ventured beyond the typical Western narrative, and McLaglen, having previously directed the likes of John Wayne in McClintock and being well-versed in the genre, approached this buddy adventure with a mature sensibility, set against the post-Civil War backdrop of the United States. The film explores the complex dynamics between the Traven brothers, Mac, Tom Selleck, and Dal, Sam Elliott who found themselves on opposing sides during the conflict. Mac, a Union supporter, and Dal, loyal to his Texas roots, fought for the Confederacy. However, what sets The Shadow Riders apart is its refusal to reduce its story to a simplistic political narrative. Despite their wartime differences, there's no overt political motivation driving either brother, with Dal expressing a genuine disdain for slavery and his fellow Confederate soldiers. The film opens with a harrowing sequence that establishes Dal's predicament, nearly gunned down by Southern militia leaders. A hasty rescue by Mac serves as a prelude, showcasing the brothers' bond amid the tumultuous post-war climate. The narrative takes a serious turn when the brothers discover a heinous kidnapping. Major Cooper Ashbery, a Comanchero leader played by Jeffrey Lewis, orchestrates a devastating raid on their home, abducting their sisters, brother Jesse, and Dal's girlfriend Kate, portrayed by Catherine Ross. This shocking and brutal incident, unusual for network television, propels the Traven brothers into action, infusing the story with a high-stakes intensity. The film, while retaining elements of crowd-pleasing humor and adventure, delves into darker themes, presenting a more mature perspective on the challenges faced in the post-Civil War era. Mac and Dal's journey becomes a quest for justice and familial redemption, offering viewers a multifaceted exploration of loyalty, sacrifice, and the complexities of the human spirit against the rugged backdrop of the American West. The Shadow Riders emerges as a compelling star vehicle for Sam Elliott and Tom Selleck by subverting audience expectations and allowing both actors to showcase their versatility in roles that defy traditional stereotypes. What makes this dynamic particularly intriguing is the reversal of the archetypal characters one might associate with these seasoned actors. Tom Selleck known for his portrayal of the downbeat and serious character Jesse Stone in the eponymous franchise and the law-abiding Frank Reagan in Blue Bloods, takes an unexpected turn in The Shadow Riders. In this film, Selleck's character, Mac Traven, becomes the unexpected source of comic relief. The movie opens with a playful and extended scene featuring Mac in bed with his girlfriend, suggesting a light-hearted womanizer persona. Throughout the film, Mac's jovial and whimsical nature sets him apart from the serious lawman roles that might be expected from Selleck. This departure showcases Selleck's range and ability to embody diverse characters within the Western genre. On the other hand, Sam Elliott, renowned for his stoic and rugged presence in westerns, such as his later roles in The Big Lebowski and Roadhouse, brings a nuanced performance to his character, Dal Traven. Dal's genuine affection for Kate, portrayed by Catherine Ross, introduces an unexpected layer of tension. Unlike the tough and uncompromising personas Elliott would later adopt, Dal's emotional complexity adds depth to the narrative. His disappointment in Kate's actions during his absence and his belief in a potential future with her highlight Elliot's ability to convey authentic emotions. 
The juxtaposition of Selleck's comedic portrayal of Mac with Elliot's sensitive depiction of Dal adds richness to the film's narrative. Dal's struggle to navigate the complexities of a romantic relationship, especially one marked by the uncertainties of wartime, showcases Elliot's capacity to infuse sensitivity into his characters. While Elliot has expressed reservations about modernizing the Western genre, his performance in The Shadow Riders demonstrates a willingness to explore emotional territories within the traditional Western framework. The film not only becomes a testament to the actor's skillful navigation of unexpected roles, but also a remainder that within the rugged landscapes of the Old West, characters can be as complex and multifaceted as the actors who bring them to life. The Shadow Riders stands as an underrated gem within the Western genre, a distinction that may, in part, be attributed to the medium in which it was initially released, the realm of television. In the 1980s, television was often perceived as a lesser platform in comparison to film. However, the evolving landscape of the entertainment industry, especially with the rise of streaming services, has shifted these perceptions significantly over the last few decades. In the contemporary era, actors and filmmakers increasingly embrace television as a medium for creative expression, with streaming platforms providing a home for ambitious and high-quality projects. Sam Elliott, one of the stars of The Shadow Riders, exemplifies this shift in perspective. In recent years, he delivered one of his best performances on the Yellowstone spin-off series 18003, a show that garnered critical acclaim. Elliot's portrayal earned him a Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Performance by a Melee Actor in a Miniseries or Television Movie. This accolade underscores the recognition that television, once considered secondary, has become a platform where actors can explore nuanced characters and deliver performances of exceptional depth and emotional resonance. The Western genre, which The Shadow Riders represents, has experienced a revitalization on television. Shows like Justified, Westworld, Godless, The English, and the immensely popular Yellowstone have breathed new life into the genre. Television serves as an ideal space for actors to immerse themselves in Western narratives and present more thoughtful and complex performances. The episodic format allows for character development over an extended arc, providing actors the opportunity to delve into the nuances of their roles in a way that might be constrained in a feature film. Tom Selleck, a native of Detroit, entered the world on January 29, 1945. His family decided to make a significant move to Los Angeles during his early years. Despite his Detroit roots, Selleck quickly adapted to the California lifestyle. During his youth, he showcased his athletic prowess and earned a coveted basketball scholarship to the University of Southern California. While navigating the academic rigors of university life, an unexpected passion for the performing arts began to stir within him. Despite being a gifted athlete, Selleck discovered a deeper interest in the world of entertainment. His journey into the performing arts took an unconventional route. While still a student, he ventured into a management training program for United Airlines. However, the allure of the stage and screen proved too strong to resist. Stepping away from the corporate trajectory, Selleck briefly worked as a model before finding success in the world of commercials. Among the products he endorsed was Safeguard Deodorant, providing a stepping stone for what would become a thriving acting career. However, the road to success was not without its share of unexpected turns. Before making his mark in commercials, Selleck found himself on a 1965 episode of the popular dating show, The Dating Game. During this era, appearing on such shows was a common strategy for young, attractive actors to gain exposure. Notable figures like Steve Martin, Andy Kaufman, and even Arnold Schwarzenegger have also sought visibility through similar avenues. In a twist of fate, despite his future ascent to A-list status, Selleck faced defeat on the dating game, not once, but twice. 
The show, which seemed like a detour at the time, would later become a curious footnote in the storied career of an actor who would go on to make an indelible mark in Hollywood. In a chapter that added depth and complexity to his life, Tom Selleck, much like many of his contemporaries, found himself navigating the challenges of the Vietnam War era. Drafted during that turbulent period, Selleck made a significant decision in 1967 by opting to join the California National Guard. Assigned to the 160th Infantry Regiment, he demonstrated his commitment to service, eventually attaining the rank of sergeant. His dedication to duty and leadership qualities became evident as he served his country, earning the respect of those he served alongside. Selleck's military service extended for six months of active duty, a period marked by both challenges and personal growth. In 1973, he was honorably discharged, carrying with him the experiences and lessons of his time in uniform. Upon returning home, Selleck faced an unexpected twist in his burgeoning career. Fox had chosen to relieve him from his contract during his time away. Undeterred, Selleck turned the page on that chapter of uncertainty and embarked on the next phase of his journey, driven by resilience and a determination to carve a Nietzsche for himself in the entertainment industry. Beyond his acting pursuits, Selleck found another way to contribute tea to causes close to his heart. Khaled upon to appear in promotional material for the National Guard, he became a spokesperson for the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund. This advocacy work allowed him to channel his experiences into raising awareness and support for those who had served in Vietnam, becoming a voice for veterans and their stories. As Tom Selleck navigated the entertainment landscape of the 1970s, his presence became a familiar sight in numerous television commercials. However, it was a stroke of fate and the intervention of a Hollywood legend that propelled him into the realm of major film roles. The catalyst for this significant shift was none other than the iconic Mae West, a celebrated actress with a keen eye for talent. Mae West handpicked Selleck to be one of her love interests in the film Myra Breckenridge, marking his inaugural foray into the world of major motion pictures. Selleck, fully cognizant of the impact West had on his burgeoning career, acknowledged her pivotal role in getting him noticed in the competitive industry. In a 1997 interview with The Morning Call, Selleck shared insights into his association with Mae West revealing that he had attended several premieres with her. West, in her inimitable style, did numerous interviews where she deliberately mentioned Selleck in the same breath as legendary actor Cary Grant. This strategic positioning not only underscored Selleck's talent, but also linked his name with that of an esteemed Hollywood icon, elevating his visibility within the industry. Selleck's gratitude for Mae West's influence on his career was palpable. Without her intervention, his trajectory in the entertainment world might have taken a vastly different course. West's deliberate efforts to align Selleck with cinematic legends like Cary Grant not only opened doors for him, but also set the stage for a career that would continue to evolve and flourish over the ensuing decades. Tom Selleck's journey in the entertainment industry is marked by intriguing twists, and one captivating tidbit involves his audition for the iconic role of Indiana Jones in Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's a tale that combines the whims of fate, contractual obligations, and an unexpected convergence of circumstances. Legend has it that Selleck not only auditioned for the role of the Nazi-killing, snake-hating archaeologist, but actually secured the part. However, a contractual bind with CBS, stemming from his commitment to the hit series Magnum P.I., prevented him from taking on the iconic role. While this tidbit may sound like an industry myth, it is, in fact, grounded in reality. The CBS contract indeed posed a hurdle, but as fate would have it, Selleck could have juggled both roles if circumstances had played out differently. As he prepared to shoot Magnum P.I. in Hawaii, a writer's strike disrupted the show's production. Selleck, 
faced with financial pressures, found himself working as a laborer during the hiatus to make ends meet. Adding a layer of irony to the situation, the delay in Magnum P.I. production coincided with the commencement of filming for Raiders of the Lost Ark. The two projects unfolded concurrently, both set against the backdrop of Hawaii, presenting a missed opportunity for Selleck to portray the iconic archaeologist. The intersection of contractual obligations, an unexpected writer's strike, and the simultaneous shooting of two major projects in the same location created a unique set of challenges for Selleck. While the role of Indiana Jones ultimately went to Harrison Ford, the what-if scenario surrounding Selleck's audition remains a captivating footnote in the annals of Hollywood history. The twists and turns in Tom Selleck's career extend to the realm of television, and one intriguing possibility involves a potential alternate universe where Selleck assumed the role of Mitch Buchanan in the iconic series Baywatch. Following the conclusion of his Magnum P.I. journey, Selleck delved into a successful film career with notable roles in films such as Her Alibi, 1989, and Quigley Down Under, 1990. However, the allure of returning to the small screen briefly tugged at him, presenting the tantalizing prospect of him donning the iconic red lifeguard trunks. In the alternate universe of television casting, Selleck pondered the lead role of Mitch Buchanan in NBC's Baywatch, a series that gained fame for its portrayal of ripped and vigilant lifeguards patrolling the sun-soaked beaches. While Selleck flirted with the idea, the role ultimately went to David Hasselhoff, who became synonymous with the character and played a central role in the show's success. Despite missing out on the lifeguard drama, Selleck did make a return to television in subsequent years. He graced the small screen with recurring guest appearances on the immensely popular sitcom Friends, where he portrayed Dr. Richard Burke, a love interest of Monica Geller. This stint showcased Selleck's versatility, seamlessly transitioning between drama and comedy. In a notable return to the television landscape, Selleck took on the role of Frank Reagan, the patriarch of a multi-generational family of New York City police officers in the police drama Blue Bloods. The show not only marked a successful return to the medium, but also became a long-running hit, securing its renewal for a twelfth season. Sam Elliott's illustrious career has indeed continued to flourish alongside Tom Selleck's, and his diverse range of roles showcases his versatility and enduring presence in the entertainment industry. One of his notable contributions came in 2002, when he took on a supporting role in the Academy Award-winning film We Were Soldiers. This marked a significant moment in Elliott's filmography, aligning him with a critically acclaimed project. The following year, Elliot ventured into the realm of superhero films with a role in Hulk, 2003, expanding his repertoire to include the dynamic world of comic book adaptations. In 2007, he further demonstrated his adaptability by joining the cast of Ghost Rider, adding a touch of the supernatural to his cinematic portfolio. Elliot's foray into television included a guest-starring role in the neo-Western crime drama series Justified in 2015. His performance in the series earned him a Critics' Choice Television Award, reaffirming his ability to captivate audiences across various genres. The Netflix series The Ranch became another noteworthy chapter in Elliot's television career with his involvement in 2016. Following this, he took on a leading role in the 2017 comedy film The Hero, showcasing his enduring appeal in the world of cinema. In 2018, Elliot graced the highly celebrated musical A Star is Born in the role of Bobby Maine, adding his distinctive presence to a film that garnered widespread acclaim. The subsequent year saw him lend his voice to the character Trusty in the remake of Lady and the Tramp, 2019 demonstrating his versatility not only on screen, but also in voice acting. Looking ahead, Elliot is slated to provide the voice of Ward Hill Lehman in the upcoming historical documentary film The Gettysburg Address, as per information from IMDb. 
This signals his continued commitment to engaging with diverse and historically significant projects. What do you think about Tom Selleck and Sam Elliott's relationship? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.